I'm doing a quick video of a uh, garbage can that I found on the side of the interstate that uh, it fell off a truck and uh, the wheels just broke off of it and uh, how I basically fixed it. First thing I did, it had a big crack here and you can see where I plastic welded it and I actually melted uh, just regular staples in it just to hold it together to make sure it was good and strong. I mean it doesn't have to look perfect as long as it holds and it's all the way there was a big crack but I actually used a uh, ratchet strap to pull this together and uh, it's missing this but it is what it is it's not really perfect you can see that it's skimmed up in places from uh, sliding on the interstate but uh, it didn't have any wheels so I got this rod here from a old cart over there that was my brother's and uh, it folded it was bent I heated this up and straightened it out these I made out of uh, out of um, nuts that I bought at Home Depot I obviously got these at Harbor Freight for around six dollars and change a piece I modified this because this was way too big for what I needed it for but uh, these spacers I made on the uh, bench grinder, which I showed in a previous video. But uh, I think that it uh, turned out really well. I actually have put this off. Put off actually fixing it for a while. As I just had, you know, this didn't feel like fixing it. But uh, it's still got a hole in it, which I may or may not patch. I think it got water in it because of that because this thing is still full of water even though the lid's not leaking. But I think of it, I mean, even though it was a necessity to do it because it didn't have no wheels, I think it looks really cool with the, with those wheels. And uh, you can actually do this with any of these, any of these type. Um, mine actually required one inch axles which these are five eighths but uh you can always either buy a spacer or make a spacer like i did but uh you don't even have to use that rod from something else you can actually get just the threaded rod from home depot for like six bucks and uh as long as it's five eighths or whatever diameter you want to make it five eighths is the best because most wheels have uh, 5 8 um, bearings on them, but uh, I think it actually turned out really well and uh, <clears throat> relatively cheap. But uh, that's all I wanted to show. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, this is actually a good upgrade. Even if you have good wheels, you know, you could upgrade to these. It, it, they just, it, they're better and they look better. They're more sturdy. I mean, obviously they're not heavy duty and the rubber will probably rot in two or three years. But you know what? Six bucks each. Can't really beat that with a stick. But as I said, thank you for watching. Have a nice evening. Cherish your family and like and subscribe. Please uh, like and subscribe and uh, goodbye.